Hi everyone, I'm Mr B and I'm going to be showing you with this hydrogen peroxide what a catalyst is, what a catalyst does and how a catalyst works. This hydrogen peroxide will naturally undergo a decomposition reaction. That means it's going to break down and it breaks down to form water and oxygen. But that takes a long time. I'm now going to try and work out which is the best catalyst to speed up this reaction. And to do that, I'll need to measure the volume of gas being made. So I'm going to use a gas syringe. All the equipment I'm using today is available from Philip Harris and there's a link to the Philip Harris website in the description below my video. So the first substance I'm going to try to speed up the reaction is manganese oxide. So I'm only using a small amount of it. As soon as that goes in, I start the stopwatch and then I can record any gas being made using the gas syringe. And I'm going to record that every 10 seconds. I'm going to repeat the same experiment, but this time using potassium iodide. So let's see if it goes any quicker or not using the potassium iodide. Start the stopwatch. So I've put my results into a table. This is the volume of gas made with the manganese dioxide. This is the volume of gas made with the potassium iodide. And we can see quite clearly that the manganese dioxide speeded up the reaction much more than the potassium iodide. So for this particular reaction, manganese dioxide was the most effective catalyst. But it probably wouldn't work for any other reactions because we find that catalysts are very specific. That means different reactions need different catalysts to speed them up. Catalysts work by providing a different pathway for the chemical reaction. So this lowers the activation energy. So that means that even the slower moving particles with less energy now have got enough energy to cause a reaction. So there's going to be more successful collisions. So that means there will be a higher rate of reaction. A common question on your exam is to do with reaction profiles. If you've forgotten what a reaction profile is, I'll put a link up to a previous video now. Now what I've drawn in black could be a typical exam question. They will give you a reaction profile, in this case for an exothermic reaction, and the question would say, draw on it the line that you would get if you used a catalyst. So I've drawn the answer in red, I've started at exactly the same point, I've not gone up as high, and I've finished at the same point. Now I've also drawn on it the activation energy shown with the arrows. So the black arrow is the activation energy without a catalyst and the red arrow is the activation energy with a catalyst and we can see the activation energy is lower using the catalyst. Before I go over the main points about catalysts, it would do me a big favour if you could hit the like button. So what have we learnt about catalysts? Well, catalysts speed up chemical reactions but are left unchanged at the end of the reaction. They're only needed in small amounts. Catalysts are also specific. That means different chemical reactions need different catalysts to speed them up. And they work by providing a different pathway for the chemical reaction and that lowers the activation energy. Thank you for watching.